We all know Erin Andrews as a trailblazer in the world of sports broadcasting, and now she's inspiring women by opening up about her difficult road to motherhood. Yeah, we're going to chat with Erin in just a moment, but first, let's take a look at her story. You tell us this week, Patrick Mahomes. Erin Andrews has been a fixture on NFL sidelines for more than two decades. Penalties, check. You guys did well. Turnovers, check. And in June of this year, after nine years struggling with infertility, she became a mom. It's Mac Roger for my grandpa, who loves sports so much, stole. But Erin's journey to motherhood was long and grueling. Everything I was doing for the last nine years was affected by IVF. In 2016, she was diagnosed with cervical cancer and underwent two surgeries. And then, after deciding to work with a surrogate in 2021, heartbreak. We ended up putting two embryos in and um, we lost them both. Last year, Aaron and her husband Jared Stoll tried again with another surrogate, which led to a pregnancy, the ultimate gift. I a baby boy. Now Aaron is sharing her journey to inspire others and let them know they're not alone. Oh, We're in the Aaron. dimple stage. She's Aaron. got the dimple We're right the here in and here. In the yeah. Legs. Oh, yeah. Oh. In the legs, yeah. But in the little elbow, oh. it's really cute. So many yeah. roads to motherhood. I feel like each one of Why? us yeah. here on this couch mm -hmm. has had a different totally. road. But um, the waiting, the praying, the hoping, yeah. the wondering, disappointment. Right. the disappointment, the road. The injections, I, the what? ultrasounds yeah. that I could give myself at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. How did you um, How did you have the strength? Like, what kept you say, going and saying, you know what, one more round. Let's right. try again. Well, we talked about it when uh -huh. I, you guys allowed me to break mm -hmm. the news with you. I, for a while, I was just like, shh, shh, don't say my name in these waiting rooms. Like, let's yeah. just be undercover that I'm going through this. And then, like I said, you start seeing these waiting rooms are packed. Yeah. You have Kristen Walker on your show yes. and yeah. talking about her journey. And you realize there's people that are going through this. They don't know where to turn. We're so lucky because we have women in our life and we can talk about it that mm -hmm. I just decided to be open about it. But it's hard. Mm -hmm. It stinks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's difficult. You're hormonal. You yes. deal with loss. By the way, you have to deal with your partner. And yeah, that, how was that? That was that? Because so that, hard. I mean, yeah. I, I've had a miscarriage yeah. and it was tricky yeah. for my husband and I to navigate because we had different feelings, uh -huh. yeah. you know, for different people. Right. How, how did you keep your marriage strong amidst all of it? I think one of the hardest things, and you guys are successful at what you do, my husband won two Stanley Cups. You know, I'm mm -hmm. on, you know, you're successful. You can yeah. own your worth. Love you. But <laughs> dealing with failure. And it was yeah, like, wait, yes. why is this not working out for us? Yeah. And then feeling like we were the only one. Well, who else is going through surrogacy? Who else is going through infertility? Things like that. But that's one thing I'll say about my husband. He's from a really small town in Canada. It's not like infertility was really talked about yeah. too much. We were very, I was very vocal about it. And, you know, even when our surrogate gave birth, I think I said this to you guys, he was just like, Thank you so much yeah. for what you've given. I mean, he just let the emotions yeah, pour out. And that's hard for men sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I kept telling him, Jarrett, this is amazing you're like this to show other men. Like, it, totally. yeah, it's hard to go through it, but let those emotions come out. How was motherhood? Crazy. We're just talking. They point out when you have bad breath. Yeah. I'm waiting oh, yeah. for Max to turn around and be no, like, wait Mom, till they're 10. <laughs> if coffee. you think it's hard now, wait till they have a voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, my man's got a voice. He's got a smile and he's got oh. a little voice. I feel like I'm in school every yeah. single day, yes. you guys, because yes. I'm learning so well, much. And for us type A women, yes. I'll speak for you. Yeah. Like, you always feel like you're inadequate. I mean, yes. we talk yes. every day. Right. Yes. Or we're doing Failure. it right. Why yeah. isn't it working? Yeah. I'm doing and all it, the things. And it's working for this person. Why yeah. isn't it working for me? Yeah. Me. And what and exactly you don't want to mess up. You don't want to screw up. You know when you are getting screamed at all day long, and then bath time, and they're looking up yeah, at you. Totally. And like, yeah, totally. it. Do you want? Do you want another one? Yeah, it, we do. Yeah. It's not it's, too early to ask. No, I'm actually trying to figure out when would be the right time to do it. I was joking yeah. with um, Hoda about like, do you forget everything that happens? <laughs> yeah, so exactly. Being at by the, the way, coffee shop, you, and he blows out of do. his hands. You, you do. actually do. You, do. you have to relearn how to do everything. Swaddling. It's yeah. like well, it's like for the very first time. Can you stick around though? I would. Love. Don't go I anywhere. We're going to okay, talk more. Saying, is Al here? Al, Al is in on our hour. But it's we're, okay. we're also going to talk about why the Swifties ha might have this young lady right here to credit for the matchup of That's a really Taylor and Travis after this. Impressive matchup. And I heard you're like very a little territorial. Right we're we're back 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 back. Back. We are back with <laughs> sportscaster and TV host Aaron Andrews. We are talking motherhood. We're also talking matchmaking. Because you may have set up the couple 
of the future. The right. century. The couple of the, the century. Amer as, and as we said America's on our podcast, couple. and also at the game where Taylor came for the first time, America needs this. Oh, yeah, we do. It's our royal I mean, couple. And what is people's problems that aren't into it? I think this is fantastic. <laughs> but can I ask you American royalty? Because I love, I'm, I am a Swifty. I, I take uh -huh. her mm -hmm. very seriously. Yeah. What, do you, what is, I don't know him. I know her very well. What? Wait, you no, know no. Her? Well, just through her music and <laughs> just, internet uh, fantasy. Yeah. The yeah. way you know her. Yeah. Now, yeah. you actually know him. Why right. is he good for her? I, well, I don't know her, but I pretend to. No, but you to, know right? him. And yeah. I know him. And so, prime example, did a sit down with him last year yeah. during before a game. He walks in. And he's a character. Yeah. He just lights up the room. Yeah. David Ortiz works with us on Fox, and he's the same way. Big Poppy, just big. Yeah. yeah. It's like Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Not to mention. In a good way. In a great right. way. Okay. Another thing about him, yeah. guys and girls love this because I have a story about him with my crew. I sat down with him. He smells like a dream. He'll okay. say it's oh, Louis Baby. And it's I like don't know what Louis Baby is. Louis Vuitton. Sure. Oh. Oh. Um, and so <laughs> hugged me to say goodbye. Yeah. I'm teaching you. Well, let's go. Keep going. So okay, I, teach me. I go. hugged him to say goodbye. Then went to a crew meeting with a bunch of guys and they're like how'd the interview with Kelsey go this is last year I'm like come smell me guys were like wow he's great <laughs> so he's one of those guys and that like, gets in an elevator and, smells good. Good. and don't forget this he bought you a baby gift. Yeah. He, see, oh, thoughtful. 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 Like, so do you see, things. like, let's go ahead Can and predict it, it. We want you, like, as you predict games and other <laughs> things, sure. you predict gender reveals. Do you think <laughs> they're going to get married? I hope so, and I hope to officiate the wedding with oh. Carissa Thompson live on the Calm Down podcast. Oh. No. And we didn't set them up. We just, well, like, you, you, you we encouraged have, it. You never know. We encouraged it. it. Yeah, yes. because they had, he'd already got the Swifty bracelet. Yeah. Told, yeah. And we were like, date our friend. Date, date our, our friend. Okay, I want you to now talk about Hoda, but I'm going to need to be the yeah, guest. Yeah. I don't know if you have guests, but if you do, I'm going to need to be there because I'm very specific about who my girl dates. Uh, and I'm a little jealous here. <laughs> that, I'm going to take oh, some you're setting me up. Yeah. I need a pen. So, wait, you're going to set me up. good for her? Okay. Like, do, what are some of the she things she looks for? She needs somebody that wants to evolve. Yes. Somebody that. <laughs> evolution. That's, Great. you know, important growth. Sports. Somebody that's into sports. sports. Into sports. Yeah. Into sports. Yes. Um, Career. Yeah. 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 I said rich. She yeah. needs I don't <laughs> care. I don't care about that as much as yeah. long as Career. they're fulfilled. Career. Career. Yeah. Yeah. She, would, she would not say rich herself. I wouldn't. I'm and I don't joking, care. Yeah, by the but way. kind of. Um, but it smells good. Like, <laughs> leaves the good. room and smells yes, good. But yeah. I think too much cologne she's not going to be into. My yeah. girl likes a light <laughs> set. Okay. Ooh, like a woodsy or an oaky? I think or... a woodsy, but not something that's going to leave the elevator stinking. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Too much used car salesman. Okay. Not, she doesn't want it all too right. much. Wait, right. We have to get to this because oh, yeah. you're Miss Entrepreneur. In addition you to all the things you're doing. Wait, wait, wait. You have a baby line. Oh, wait. How do you keep her in order? She's me. <laughs> this is crazy. I, I'm, I'm trying to keep her. her. Is We've got to run down. Yes. All right. You've got to come host with me and we'll just yes. talk so much By the way, line. turn the it down. here is crazy. I predict one day you're going to work I predict I predict one day you're going to work here. Wow. So you made a prediction. Now I made a prediction. Let's go. One day. All right. Again, so what do we got? Walker, you're my boyfriend. <laughs> um, so we saw Taylor Swift ended up wearing our windbreaker. Yes, of course. Windbreaker. And it's sold yes. out. And it's sold out. Here I it know. is. Mama Kelsey. And I love how she wore it off the shoulder. Yeah, my that's, that's kind of cool. She's got that James Dean daydream yes. look in her eye. You uh -huh. know? Um, Cowboys, it's yeah. the windbreaker. Thank you. Do you think we've they're going to go to the Super Bowl? you got the Saints? Yeah, we've got the Saints. We have more coming for you. Wait, wait. Do you think they're going to go to the Super Bowl? I don't know, but I know they lost... Or they well, won last they won. night, and I had them against the Rams. Okay, in a, in a we week gotta or so. go. But wait a minute. Wait, wait. We've got a new announcement. Say it. Say, go. It, say it. Before you go to break, we announced Mac on your um, network, Show. and we're gonna uh, announce where is coming out with a baby line this week. <gasps> Get involved, all wait, the baby oh, showers. You've got to say something. Look at that model. Oh my I mean, god, he is so cute. I love it. Aaron, we love seeing Thank you so happy. You. We love you. Where are we going next? Let's I don't go. know. Somewhere good. We we'll don't know. Back. Mexico. Right.